Hey guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, my name is Mike, I'm with Waves, and uh, we're real excited to show you some very interesting things that we have in development right now. Um, first of all, if uh, you're familiar with Studioverse and Studio Rack, uh, we've got some exciting news. We are now um, starting to bring in virtual instruments into the Studioverse. So before, with Studioverse, it's an online preset community. Um, you can upload your presets, share it with the world. Amazing opportunity there to have a world of presets with you. Um, and uh, that's um, embedded into Studio Rack. Um, and that's already ready. And so with this announcement of Studioverse Instruments, we're bringing instrument, uh, virtual instruments into that same ecosystem now. Um, now this isn't out yet. Uh, we're planning on uh, second quarter of this year for a release. Um, and um, if I can just uh, show you a couple of little things here. We've got two main uh, sections. We've got a macro section. You've got eight macros. And those can be assigned to any of the parameters of your virtual instrument or your effects. Um, and then uh, we've got the rack section down here. You can see I've got a version of a element, an instance of element uh, showing up here. And I've got a couple of effects. And uh, you'll also notice um, I've got a third-party effect here as well. So we've got support for third-party VSTs as well as third-party virtual instruments. So this is all exciting stuff. Uh, we're really trying to um, expand this uh, Studioverse ecosystem and excited about where this is going. Um, um, and, and beyond this, there's a couple of MIDI effects as well that we have. It's a list of like arpeggiator, note sequencer. Um, you can split the keyboard into multiple sections or if you want to layer virtual instruments, you know, you could have waves element on the top end, flow motion on the bottom end of the, you know, th there's a lot of ways you can uh, make your instrument rack. Now this also means that you can share your uh, instrument rack um, between DAWs. It's not, um, it's not only in uh, one DAW. You know, you can take your preset chains with you just like you can with Studio Rack. Um, and then of course, Studioverse. That allows you to upload your preset chains to the world. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out on more information on that. So yeah, thank you.